The Venturi. What's interesting about the Venturi? It's simple. Wants to get away on us. As the liquid goes through the pipe and it gets smaller through the Venturi, 15 degrees or less uh, angle on the walls, then the fluid increases and the pressure decreases, which causes an equally opposite reaction because the fluid is increasing speed, causes it to take off, fly away. Just like our hose we use every day. Venturi, also called a nozzle. Almost knocked me out. So, the one caveat is that your water has to spray out into the atmosphere, at least in a simple way of setting it up. So, notice that don't work. There's a little bit of an effect here, but not really. So we gotta lose our water. So what do we know about the Clem engine? Well, it had a fluid pump. It used cooking oil. Uh, there was a cavitation of the oil, the fluid, as to, to heat up. And it pushed against nothing. As far as we could tell, it was just something sort of like this, you know? Sitting on a bearing. My bearing got robbed, so I just stuck this here to show you what this was on. This was supposed to be a Downey Watts machine. Well, Downey Watts, this machines never work because there's no venturi. This is just a hole. So the water actually, it's, spe it's spinning up here, but by the time it squirts out of here without the venturi, it's never going to go faster than negative of the speed that it was going. So it's reversing direction. So it's actually always going very slowly in the same direction. So there's no uh, inertial drive effect. So instead of having a pump, there's another way to do it where it sucks up water, but that way it can lose its prime. It's a bit more difficult and it's harder to shut the water off if it goes overrun. So rather than being a nerd, let's just decide, well, we have to lose our water. We can't stick a hose on it. So we'll lose our water and we'll pump it back up again. So we'll put this on something that turns, turns around. We don't need all these nozzles. We only need two. What do we need all these nozzles for? Let's just use a decent sized pipe. You know, two inch, four inch, more than four inch. They, might put, they make pipe in all sizes and you can even make your own pipe. So just have something from the center going outwards. The centrifugal force will pump it. And then as it gets smaller, through a special pipe, it accelerates and it pushes back on our motor. So it's that simple. You know, a little bit like a lawn sprinkler that you see every day, but basically high capacity and you can even build it so it'll pump itself. Just based on the venturi. fluid speeds up, there's an equally opposite reaction, which is to cause our pump to speed up. It's a win-win situation.